What's poppin' YouTube and welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie, back with another video for y'all. And this video right here is if your Jupiter is in the sign of Pisces or if it's in the 12th house. And I'll pause for the cause. If you don't know how to find your Jupiter placement, if you're a new subscriber, if you're just starting off your journey of self-love, self-knowledge, self-awareness, self-understanding, if you don't realize why you have to, why it's so important that you must look at yourself, study yourself, and um, love yourself through astrology and numerology, don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos. I'll put the link in the description. You have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So if you look at your birth chart or your natal chart, it's the same thing. And you realize that Jupiter is in sign of Pisces or the 12th house is videos for you. So without further ado, let's just get it popping, shall we? Now you already know before I start, I'm gonna give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what Jupiter and Pisces people look like and act like in reality. Then I'm gonna have a list of celebrities that have Jupiter in the 12th house. So to start, we got Leonardo DiCaprio, Drake, Tom Cruise, Demi Moore, Penelope Cruz, Michael Jordan, Solange Knowles, Stevie Wonder, Cassie, Lil Kim, and Ray Mysterio. And now these are celebrities that have Jupiter in the 12th house. We got Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Nikola Tesla, Kevin Hart, Erica Badu, Usher, Zoe Saldana, Ice Cube, Tyler Perry, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, and Jennifer Aniston. All right, so boom, Jupiter in the 12th house or Jupiter in Pisces. First of all, what does Jupiter mean? What does Jupiter represent in our birth chart? So in astrology, I mean in the solar system, Jupiter is the biggest planet. So in astrology, Jupiter represents expansion, represents luck, represents abundance. It is ruled by Pisces and Sagittarius. So automatically, Jupiter is at home. Jupiter feels comfortable being in Pisces because it rules Pisces and Sagittarius. But it represents, look at, think about Sagittarius energy, how they're very optimistic, all about traveling, wisdom, philosophy, gaining knowledge. So put all that energy and that's what Jupiter represents. It, it gives you abundance, it gives you experiences, so that gives you knowledge at the end. So like it get, puts you through things, to receive abundance, to receive experience, to receive wisdom through whatever house it's in, through whatever sign it's in. It puts a spotlight of emphasis on, all right, if you focus on this area in life, I will expand this energy, I will expand these gifts, I will expand whatever sign it's in, whatever house it's in. So very important to look at the house, to look at the sign that it's in. So having a Jupiter in the sign of Pisces means that you're expanded with Pisces energy or your 12th house energy is expanded. So what does that mean? Automatically, you already know Pisces energy, 12th house energy is all about the subconscious mind. It's all about spirituality. It's all about tapping into the higher, the higher knowledge of the universe and the ethers, like tapping into the outer world, basically. So having this means that your intuition, your spiritual, your spirituality of digging deep into yourself is expanded. And it gives y'all the gift of being very sensitive. And I don't mean sensitive as in, the, as in, as in emotions and all that, even though that, that can be true. I mean, sensitive as in like, y'all could really feel people's energy and really feel people's vibrations and frequencies on a deep level, which allows y'all to be very empathic to them. And you gain blessings and luck and abundance. The more you like are charitable to people, the more you're empathic to people, the more that you feel like of service to people on a deep spiritual healing level. So I'm gonna break that down, but understand that y'all intuition is heightened and your sensitivity for energies is heightened. So the most important thing to start off is know that the people around y'all really affects you on a deep level because y'all are sensitive to their energies and to their frequency. So really understand that you really want to know what kind of people, what kind of environment that you're in and that affects you on a deep level. But automatically though, Jupiter kind of expands y'all empathy. It expands y'all intuition. Y'all the type that really likes to get deep within yourself and to know who you truly are. Y'all could be attracted to like um, hidden knowledge and secretive knowledge, like you know astrology and things that are just 
different and spiritual that you like to tap in deep into because that's where your your energy is heightened that's where your pisces energy is heightened your 12th house energy is heightened in this area so understand though at the same time you can attract people that are secretively trying to get next to you because they want to take advantage of your empathic energy of your spiritual healing energy so it's all about knowing first of all who you are first and that can only happen if you go through a period of isolation if you go through a period of actually being by yourself long enough to know what kind of energies that you like what you don't like who you are as a person because understand and i said this in my pisces energy video we all know pisces is rules the lymphatic system and the in the body and that's the white blood cells that just go and absorb all the toxins so wherever y'all go y'all automatically are sponges that absorb energy wherever y'all go and this is jupiter and pisces so it's heightened it's expanded it's it's od so y'all really absorb energy wherever y'all go so if y'all don't go through a period of actually you know being isolated and y'all automatically like doing this anyway to recharge yourself but if you find out if you figure if you find out that you're like feeling emotions that are not yours or you wake up and you don't feel like yourself or you have a lot of things going on in your head understand that it could be because of the people that you're around your environment that you're automatically sucking from or automatically squeezing or they're automatically absorbing from my bad automatically absorbing your energy from so understand that isolation for y'all is a big is a big must for this energy but all in all though understand that you gain abundance you gain attraction you're lucky when it comes to being able to connect with somebody and to really feel them on a deep level like you could really read somebody or connect with somebody subconscious more than they can you can look at someone and really like really feel for them you could be the type to like if you're walking by a homeless person you always feel the need that you have to give something you have you have to give some money you got to help you just always feel like when you see somebody in need you always want to help because you feel their energy you feel their pain on a deep level so a negative with this is you can always be like um be like a burden or taking up taking other people's burdens onto yourself so all in all i'm saying this to understand that you're very sensitive as in very receptive to other frequencies and energies to people around you so be very careful that you don't drain yourself for trying to help too much for trying to be there for everybody all the time for trying to be like that savior all the time be careful that you're not trying to do too much give too much of yourself because jupiter just wants to expand just wants to go just wants to gain wisdom and travel so you can overindulge in being too empathic you can overindulge in trying to be like that savior all the time for everybody but understand though at the same time your intuition is heightened y'all imagination is heightened so having this placement y'all automatically can get into any artistic field music field like anything that has to do with not something that's concrete like a nine to five not something that's concrete and you know structured but things that are imaginary things that are in the in the spiritual realm and the other realm and the subconscious mind things that are that you just make up imagination wise you have a tremendous imagination so y'all could create anything you want basically through your imagination y'all could be the type to sleep a lot too because like when you're dreaming that's that's a whole nother realm like right now I'm a, we're, we're awake we're in a we're in this room right now when we sleep we go into another room so y'all could be low-key overindulgent in the other room so y'all could sleep a lot too but all it's all about trying to like be in that spiritual imaginative area so if you're the type to like to really like watching other artists or like following other artists or the musicians you just love people that are artistic and all that understand that you can also be that way so a lot of times with this placement y'all could always want to be in the background or don't really want to put yourself in the forefront a lot so understand that if you're always like admiring other artists and all that understand that you have the same energy inside you to actually be able to create something yourself and other people will follow you too so don't be afraid to actually express your artistic talent to express your music mu mu <laughs> music musical talent to express your spiritual talent anything that has to do with creativity and imagination understand that that's your blessings that is where you're abundant that's where you gain a lot of luck and um, a lot of luck and abundance in this in the aspect in life so really don't be afraid to express this part of your life don't be so stuck in trying to be in the background or don't don't be so comfortable we're not trying to be up in the forefront that you're just admiring other people that are artistic that you don't want to be out there and put it put yourself in the forefront if that makes sense so also with this placement understand that people will like being around you because you have a healing factor about yourself you have a healing nature about yourself 
but don't overextend yourself to the wrong people. So that's, that's why I said before, to go through periods of isolation, to really recharge yourself and to know like who you are and what your energy is. Y'all not the type to be materialistic. Like instead of buying like jewelry and diamonds and all that, y'all could be type to buy like um, sage and crystals and like chakra bracelets and Palo Santo sticks, like all these spiritual things, incense and all that. Y'all like to indulge in spiritual cleansing, things like that. And if you're not into these things already, it's recommended, especially having Jupiter and Pisces, Jupiter in 12th house when it's expanded, when this spiritual Pisces energy is expanded, it's recommended that y'all indulge in these things, indulge in sage, get some crystals, learn about meditation, get into your, really dig deep into your subconscious self, into your inner self. That's where your, that's where your luck comes from when you actually master these things. And Jupiter is going to allow y'all to have a lot of abundance and wisdom in this aspect in life and able to also help somebody else tap into themselves and to heal themselves and to get subconsciously deep with that person as well. So all starts with you being able to understand that you have to tap into yourself on a deep subconscious level. That's where your luck and abundance come from. Don't take, don't be taken advantage of or being too empathic because naturally you can look at someone and look at any situation and create a whole new reality of that situation, that rose colored glasses thing that y'all hear all the time. It's basically y'all creating a whole new reality of something and you living in that reality that you created but then the real world are looking at you different. They're like, oh, that person's gonna help me out. That person's gonna do this for me. All right, I'll let him do it, I'll let her do it. And while you're feeling like, oh, this person is um, this person is deserving of my energy, that person can secretly be like trying to take advantage of that. I gotta keep stressing this point. So really be aware of the energies around you because you're extremely sensitive to energies and frequencies. Y'all take in and really are receptive to it on a deep spiritual level. Y'all get like, really strong uh, spiritual messages from the universe because it's expanded so y'all really get a lot of great imaginative ideas and great connections and you communicate with the higher with the higher power like the universe and whatever you believe in your higher power y'all communicate with that on a strong level so y'all could be type to always daydream and all that to always be another realm try not to be too stuck in that trying to be too escapism in that because you know Pis pisces energy can be escapisms can escape when it comes to escaping reality to go into the spiritual realm. Try not to be overindulgent in that factor, but understand that you gain abundance and blessings and gifts the more that you tap into your inner self, your spiritual self, the more that you're empathic. Y'all naturally like y'all naturally like to be charitable to people. Y'all just love helping and giving of yourself to people. That's what gives y'all like gives y'all a sense of pride. Like it's not about the money. Um, you're not doing it for fame. You're not doing it for money. You're not doing it for attention. Y'all doing it because you just know that it's, it's like the pureness of y'all hearts. Y'all just love being of service and helping people on a deep, empathic level. Just don't get taken advantage of. I'm gonna keep stressing that. So that was my video on Jupiter in the 12th house or Jupiter in Pisces. Hope y'all enjoyed that. If y'all subscribe to my channel, appreciate all y'all for real, for real. You already know. Uh, my next series, I'm gonna I'm keep it a secret. It's, it's gonna be, I'm about, to, um, I'm about to do something different, but I'm gonna let y'all know. But when I come back here, you know it's gonna be, you already know I'm about to go in whatever it is. If you haven't subscribed yet though, go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. So um, don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and be safe out here. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'm going to see all y'all when I see y'all.